James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. to die. I'm 
I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? Is somebody there? Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes, I know. But so what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. 
Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. What's your name? Ernest. Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest, I'll be back. to my daddy. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. 
What a fool! Now, it's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest, Amy, she isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. You must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you.
Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James, he's a bad man. James. for the you that isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay.
chains. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? <laughs>
restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you to come to see me. Mary, could you really be in this town?